so you started your your journey but encountered a very difficult storm and all of a sudden now you're stuck not only are you stuck but you've been this way for years you're calcifying you're getting rusty and for others maybe in your journey you started your journey but not only did you get rusty you sunk down very deep and you're stranded stranded in a region in your life in your spiritual walk where only if a person has ever gone through what you're going through that's the only way that they could understand how you feel right now in your walk you're shipwrecked and there's nothing worse than feeling like you're shipwrecked in Luke 8:22 on forward now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples and he said unto them let us go over to the other side of the lake and they launched forth every single person watching this has a particular calling and if god has given you that calling and it's something true and real that it's from god usually callings comes with instructions on what you should do and how you should do it and when you should do it and god tells you what'll happen if you follow his instructions and god tells you what'll happen if you seek his commandments and his ways and it's all good at first it's that honeymoon stage when you first come to christ everything's good and smooth for the first few days but then it feels as if the more you seek jesus the more you pray the more you fast the more attacked you are and you recognize and you realize that God has told you as he told them let us go over to the other side but as you start on your journey to get to the other side you start seeing a storm brew out like you can't even imagine and how difficult is that not and in moments like these you can turn to a friend you can turn to a father you can turn to a mother you can turn to someone at the end of the day they can only give you human advice right and if they haven't gone through what you're going through it's going to be very difficult to find someone to have the mercy enough to be able to deal with you and the roughest part is, is that as you're down and as you're stumbling and as you're in a position that you feel stagnant in your walk at the beginning of the video i showed a very rusty ship going nowhere do you feel that way sometimes or another ship that he he's on his journey but he's sunken down going nowhere do you feel that way sometimes too it is in moments like these that the devil likes to attack you the most why because he's a bully and he likes to pick on you when you're at your worst he's the one who tempts you to fall and then when you fall he's the one who tells you you see that calling wasn't from god You see you you thought you were going to run a ministry. You thought you were going to be a preacher. You thought you were going to be a teacher. You thought you were going to do all these things, but look, was did God really speak? And then when you say, "What? Well, man, I'm going to go pray to God." Oh, do you think God's going to listen to your prayers? God don't want nothing to do with you. This is why you're in your position that you're in right now because God don't like you no more. And slowly but surely you that part from your journey or you turn back or you stay stagnant, you no move forward anymore in your walk. And there's nothing worse than that. Nothing worse than that. I've been there. I've been at those points in my walk. And it's no fun. Satan has a way of putting you to sleep. Satan has a way of convincing you of making thoughts sound like you so that you can stay stagnant in verse 23 but as they fell asleep and there came down a storm of wind on the lake and they were filled with water and were in jeopardy today in this video i'm talking about brothers and sisters in the lord that are going through spiritual warfare you may not be going through it you may not have even gone through it but get ready cuz it's going to come And when it comes you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those moments where you literally feel like you're going to die. Those moments that you literally feel like you are in jeopardy. Difficult moments. Difficult moments. 
In moments like these, we have to have faith. In moments like these, we cannot give up. And in moments like these, do not run away from God. When Adam and Eve fell, they ran away from God thinking that they could hide their sin from God. And God knew where they were, but God still asked them. God is a gentleman. And God knows in what position you are right now watching this particular video. Oh, you can clear the cookies in your computer all you want to, and you can clear your browsing history all you want to. Do you think that God doesn't see that? Oh, you can do all sorts of man-made attempts to try to make yourself feel good, but God sees everything you do. God sees every tear you cry. God sees every intention in your heart, and God knows you. From the moment you wake up in the morning, he knows you. So why run away from him? In this moment of despair, these brothers and sisters right here, in their moment of despair, they went to the Lord and they came to him and awoke him saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water and they ceased. And there was calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? Where is your faith? You know, aside from calling upon the Lord, we have to have faith. And we have to have patience. You may have been waiting, and you are still waiting for a miracle from God. In your children. In your husband. In your wife in your neighbors, in your job, and it doesn't happen. And you wait one month, two months, a year, and it doesn't happen. To us, our timeline is different from his timeline. There's one thing that you need to make sure of, and that is that you do not waver in who God is. You can waver in who you are, in your uncertainties but not in him numbers 23 19 says god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of a man that he should repent has he said and shall he not do it or has he spoken and shall he not make it good if god has called you for a calling and god has told you something in regards to a promise you better best believe that as long as you're doing your part, you're seeking his kingdom, you're living a content life. Listen, as a preacher, as a brother in the Lord, I have many things that I have to be content for. But it is a choice. It is a choice every day to get up and say, I am content with what I have. It may not be what other people think I should have. It may not be what I think I should have, but I am content every day of my life and when businesses send me messages saying we want to take over the website we can make the ministry huge we can do this we can do that let me sponsor a video so you can put an ad on there you don't even have to tell nobody that we sponsored it just use the money for Jesus and hey it's all good it's a moments like that that you have to say no I would rather trust in God because God cannot lie. Man lies, but God does not lie. When you look in the mirror, don't even trust yourself. Trust God. Yourself and your flesh will tempt you in making bad decisions. But God cannot lie. His word cannot lie. His Holy Spirit will never guide you into error. The Holy Spirit points you to the Father. Amazing how you start preaching one thing and then it ends up in another. Let us turn back to God, folks. I've been that boat that is there sinking and drowning. And picking up water left and right. And you're sitting there trying to cover up all the holes. I've been at that boat where you feel rusty. And you're still there stuck. But I've also been that brother in the Lord who's been in that boat, who's gone through the storm. And when God says, let, let us make it to the other side, that meant we're going to be at the other side, folks. There are going to be storms. There are going to be trials. 
There are going to be tribulations. God never promised you a bed of roses. But God promised you that he will be with you. And if God is a God that he cannot lie, then when you are feeling uncomfortable, when you're feeling in jeopardy, when all sorts of distractions, when all sorts of attacks of the devil start coming your way, when you feel like you're losing it all, trust God, trust Jesus, trust his word, trust his commandments, trust his promises. For Psalm 84, 11, for the Lord God is a sun and a shield, and the Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. You just make sure that you're walking uprightly. Live content every day. Cannot stress that. Live happy and content with what you have. Because God withholds no good thing from them that walk uprightly. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence thanking you for your mercy, thanking you for your grace, thanking you for your forgiveness, thanking you for your love, for your instructions. In the name of Jesus, help us walk in your ways, Lord. Help us walk in your statutes and your commandments, Lord. And if there's someone who strayed away right now, give them repentance so that they can feel that conviction and that they can come home and they can understand that just as their prodigal son, there's a father looking out there for you, waiting for you to come home. You may think you're running away, but he knows exactly where you are and you possibly are lost. Turn back home in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for the prayers. Thanks for the support. And as always, thank you for sharing these videos on Facebook with your family, with your friends. Sharing these devotionals goes a long way to touch someone's life. God bless you and thank you.